Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. When I made my review on the G Pro Super Light, I had lots of comments asking me what I thought of the aftermarket mice feet such as hyperglides, core pads, and more. Well the issue that I stated in that video was I ordered them the same day that I got the mouse. And like I mentioned about core pads, it takes a very long time for them to show up. The downside of buying a lot of these aftermarket mice feet is that they usually ship from overseas. It usually took approximately about one month until they showed up in the mail. I ordered around December 15th and they arrived about two days ago. So that was on December 19th. So quite a bit of time took place before I finally got my hands on them. Now, I've had about 48 hours breaking them in and I wanna break down my thoughts on core pad mouse skates and in general for mouse skates in general so it can help you make an informed decision. Just remember again, they take forever to show up. Also real quick, don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe and let's get right into it. Number one, they were better than I remember. After being away from the aftermarket mice feet for about a month, I used the stock feet on the Logitech G Pro X Superlight. A day before these arrived, I did switch to my older G Pro Wireless, which is why you saw a video of me using the pink G Pro. Just to test out the mice feet, since I knew that they were coming the next day since I got a notification in the mail that they're showing up. I have to say, I now remember the reason why I love them so much. It just provided such a smooth glide that I preferred they gave me both the precision and speed that I was desiring. Number two, the cut of the mice feet. Now, I was never a fan of the original G Pro Wireless mice feet, but I have to say that the Super Light was still a way big step above of what they were before. The comparison is that the super light stock feet are not as rounded out and it makes it feel like it has more of a snag. I guess kind of a swampy feel, I guess is the best way to describe it. That's not a bad thing. It's important to take note, this might be your preference because it does give some resistance that the mouse is missing. But for me, when I was asking for a lighter G Pro wireless, I was simply looking for the same mouse that I was using, but slightly lighter to gain more speed and precision. And so going back to these mice feet, I can honestly say this is exactly what I was looking for. Number three, core pads take a few days to break in. Something I forgot about the core pads was that it takes a day or two for them to break in. So once I broke them in on various mouse pads, they definitely felt a lot smoother. Not to say the initial glide is bad, but it's important to note that when you're using them for the first time, not to get used to the first 24 hours of it, because it kind of feels like your own rollerblades because it is more rounded out. But once you break them in, they definitely smooth out and it makes more sense the overall glide. So just something to remember. I don't know, that's kind of a negative or positive. Just break them in. Number four, they perform differently on different mouse pads. Now, something that was interesting was that the stock Superlight performed better on different mouse pads that I mentioned prior. So it's important to notate the kind of mouse pad that you have and the overall glide that you're shooting for. I went back to my prior favorites of core pads that I had prior with the G Pro, which is what I was assuming was going to happen. I am still figuring it out, but it pushed me back to either using the Artisan Hine, the MP510, or the Otsu Hayate. The FX0 just feels too smooth on this mouse pad that helps me lose a bit of precision. And for the regular super light mouse feet, I prefer the FX0 though. So I see though, I'm searching for a balance of speed and resistance, and those other mouse pads definitely provide that. Number five, I scored better. I already broke them in and immediately the next day, one night on Kovacs, I hit masters on Kin TS Voltaic. I got a score that I'm gonna show on screen. I only need one more to hit masters, but I was super happy the change in feet, then matching it with the right mouse pad helped me hit a sweet spot. Now, I just need to keep grinding to see where they balance out for me, but this is a very quick review and video that, honestly, I do love core pads, aftermarket mice feet. I don't know what I would do without them. I guess I would get used to not having them, but overall for me, they definitely make a difference. So hopefully somebody out there uh, realizes that maybe it might make a difference for you if that's what you prefer. But again, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.